This is the AVIT department with steps on how to start up the computer lab at Westminster United Church. I should just, uh, upon entering, check out to see if there's any problems and report them to the AVIT department. Uh, next, you should go to the cupboard and open it up, and there you'll find the server. <coughs> In the server, you should power it up by pressing the big black button and uh, ensuring that the lights do turn on. Next, uh, you need to turn on the power to the workstations and the display unit. That's located down below the server. You just press on the power bar uh, to start that up. The next thing that you should do is move over to the data display unit itself and uh, just make sure that the light is uh, a solid uh, amber color and not flashing. And uh, when that's the case, you press the power button to start and you should see that color of the in indicator to turn green. Um, just give it a few moments for the lamp to warm up and you should see the display. The next thing is uh, to use the wireless keyboard. Uh, on the top right hand corner uh, you should uh, just press the sliding bar over to the power or on position and you should see the, the, uh, the keyboard light up. And, uh, give it a few moments and we'll be ready to use. Then looking up at the front of the board, uh, you can log into the teacher's account. In the teacher's account, uh, there are several icons that are available. Um, you don't always have to have the data display unit uh, powered on, but uh, you should use it for the startup procedures. Just double click on to start workstations. At this point, you should see the uh, workstations go through a power up sequence automatically. Um, there'll be several screens. Um, Two notable ones is the Ubuntu splash screen that you see right here and then after a few moments uh, after about a minute or so then you should see the Ubuntu login screen itself. If for some reason you see some terminals and they look to be stuck on or hung up on the splash screen um, power off the workstation by holding in the power key for about 10 seconds uh, until the power is shut off and then power back on again do that then just confirm that the system uh, boots up like is shown on the screen right now and then it'll go through the process of uh, starting up and uh, eventually it should bring you to the Ubuntu login screen. Starting over on the terminal number one which is near the door that has the rod uh, that has locked that door number the accounts one and move along the horseshoe and around to seven. For example, if it's the jam accounts, you use jam one to jam seven, and the studio accounts, studio one through to studio seven. You are free to proceed with the lesson. Please check the uh, notes for uh, how to manage the workstations and how to shut down.